A Move Forever Workbook Guide Week 19 Woodland And into the forest I go To lose my mind and find my soul John Muir Eventually, open space gives way to something different Ancient humans spent a lot of time in trees Always keeping them close Even since moving permanently down to the ground You'll see trees wherever you go, but your goal this week is to do a little more than just look at them. By roadside and riverbank, in parks, woods and forests, keep your eyes open for sturdy looking trees with low branches, a perfect excuse to hang around for a while. If you decide to ascend, the route up may not be clear right away, but make the first move anyway. Then reassess and move again. Take it slow. Only go as high as you feel comfortable. Soon you'll be able to make another move and feel safe there too. There is so much to interact with in a woodland setting. Colours, textures, scents and sounds. All of your senses come to the fore. They can't help themselves. When they do... The primal part of your brain switches on. The wild animal awakens. You are fully engaged, alert and ready to act. Ready to move. So move. Let's dive into the workbook and get this week underway. This is the overall layout of the workbook. Plan it, do it and then review it. Let's start with our plan for this week. We're going to focus on a couple of things this week. Feel the change. As we enter wooded areas this week, we're going to pay particular attention to any feelings we notice as we go in. Calm but alert. Alive and instinctive. We're not going to worry too much about why we feel these things. Just concentrate on making the connection. Play in the trees. Obviously, we're going to further awaken our senses by interacting with what we find in there. For us, that usually means getting into the trees. Let's see how we got on. So in we go. The first thing is to just breathe it all in. and then just see what happens. This way and that. You won't get very far running in straight lines in the woods. Every tree is different, every setting is different too. This guy needed to spread out low to help protect itself against the constant wind. That makes him perfect for us to play in. Convenient spot to go around in circles. I don't like it. <laughs> An inconvenient invader. The vine, not the climbers. <laughs> Actually. If it adds variation, maybe it's not so inconvenient after all. So midway through the week, 
Let's see what ideas and inspirations we've come up with. Fallen Comrades It's not always convenient to play in the trees. During the wetter, colder months, the trees can be slippery. They're also in their resting phase at this time, so don't really need us clambering over them anyway. So let's have a look to see what we can find on the forest floor. Man down. And man down. Fallen trees and bits of fallen trees are great for practicing our balance. They can be as easy or as awkward as you want to make them. This time using a bit of tree and a bit of X tree together. Hello. So let's have a look back at the week and see how we got on. Feel the real. There's just something about entering a wooded environment, like a switch gets flipped deep inside. Or might that even be a good old fashioned press play button? In the trees, there is so much more to tree climbing than just climbing up. It's not about impressing the world with how high you can go, but with finding as much variety as possible. Forest floor, a safer place to test balance, or even a chance to get your hands on many, many natural textures, an ever changing environment just that variability that we're after. So as for the weekly checks, variation, variation, variation. Perfect playful adventures this week. So now it's over to you. Have a go yourself. Use Move Forever, the workbook, this video and your own experience and intuition to plan out your week. Then go about it curiously and enjoy yourself. Don't forget to share your progress in the group. Pictures, videos, lessons and ideas. We love to hear how you're getting on. And please feel free to like this video, share it with your friends or even subscribe so you don't miss future editions. See you next time.